bring in William Patey now. He's a former British ambassador to Afghanistan and joins us from London. Uh, ambassador, extraordinary show of pageantry, as we've just been discussing, you know, this sense of tradition and, indeed, just discipline in getting this done. Well, I had, there was never any doubt that it would be done to military precision and mm. it would all be uh, all, uh, all run smoothly. What strikes me is the is the continuity. I'm a historian as well as a former diplomat, and it's the continuity. These traditions going back a thousand years, uh, and uh, none of us have seen them. I'm I'm nearly seventy, but the Queen came to the throne uh, just before I was born. So this is all new for me to see this. Uh, but it's also part of a tradition that goes back a thousand years. So it's uh, it's a very it's very interesting times. Yeah, indeed, it goes back to Saxon times, doesn't it? What are the origins of it all? Well, I mean, I think a lot changed when the Normans uh, took, uh, invaded Britain in uh, 1066. So a lot of this goes back to Norman times, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, the, 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 tra the traditions of, uh, that we currently have are, are very much. Uh, 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 thousand year old. I, I, as a Scotsman, were particularly struck by the uh, the, the, the very formal uh, announcement to protect the Church of Scotland, which goes back over 300 years when Scotland and England joined to form the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So that's a 300 year old tradition. So um, these, there's a sense of continuity here, which is quite reassuring. Indeed. Uh, just about that, the reading of the Scottish Oath, which is an oath which has been made by every monarch since George I's succession back in, what, 1714, I think. And as you say, it dates back to a time when Catholic Europe was seen as a threat to Britain. How important is that? And why is it necessary in this day and age to still for, to have the, the monarch uh, read that and make that oath? Well, the, the Church of Scotland is an established church in the way the Church of England is an established church. So it's protected by the state and the monarch. Uh, in practical terms, it's a legal requirement, but in practical terms, no one, no one fears having a Catholic uh, monarch uh, we, or a Catholic right. prime minister. There is a, there's a degree of religious tolerance in this country where, which makes all that very historical. Mm -hmm. But uh, these, are, these are legal requirements that go back to the... The act, uh, the the, the, uh, the act of union. So, um, but in, in practical terms, you know, uh, the days when the Protestants uh, or one religion had um, ha had suzerainty over others or superiority over others is a thing of the past. But it's still a legal requirement. Right, and all this tradition, all this pageantry, all this pomp and ceremony. Many will say it's well, it's wholly unnecessary in this day and age. Well, I think you know sometimes it's uh, it's reassuring to to people a time when we've just lost a monarch who's been with us for seventy years, who was who was part of our lives, uh, and who not, most of us didn't know anybody else. Uh, she was she was part and parcel of our everyday everyday life, if you like. Uh, she was always there at ceremonial. So, I think it's correct to. Uh, when you uh, when there's a transition from one monarch to another, that uh, you do it you do it properly, uh, and I, I don't think it, anyone in Britain is going to think we should pare this down uh, to some sort of uh, uh, hair, you know, hair shirt uh, event. Uh, I think there'll be a, a lot sure. of support for the sort of uh, ceremony we're seeing now. Ambassador, as we're chatting, we're, just, we're seeing the, the tradition and the ceremony that you're talking about still ongoing and uh, various uh, dignitaries being taken around various parts of the city. Uh, perhaps there we saw the Garter Arms going back to, the, um, to Buckingham Palace and uh, lots of toing and froing happening. Uh, Ambassador, we'll come back to you later, but thank you very much indeed for the time being. We're going to